Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, <coughs> Yahweh, Bahashem, Bahashai, Bahashem, Chach, Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Salutations unto the 144,000 doing the work of the Lord in all truth, honor, and sincerity. And shalom to the one third men, women, and children who believe in this word being taught unto them. It's your brother Amna wa Allah. I'm back at you with another lesson. Uh, basically, lambacking of Elder Apostle Gabar's video. You know, he did a video where he basically went on a six mile hike with a weighted vest on. You know, big up Elder Apostle Gabar, man. You know, uh, showing the importance of, of you know, be, being balanced in the, you know, the mind, you know, the body, the spirit. You know, you always want to, you know, it says in Proverbs 11 and 1 that a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, man. So, you know what I mean? Like, as prophets, we're meant to know how to, to look after ourselves, the different herbs and, you know, different good things to eat and things of that nature. So anyways, man, he was uh, touching on um, the point that being a prophet isn't glamorous, man. You know, if you're in this thing for the oohs and ahs of men, you know, you're, you're, you're in the wrong profession, man. You know, you're, 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 on the, you're on the wrong path, man. Because, you know, when you're a prophet of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahshai, contrary to popular belief, it's going to come with a lot of slander, you know, uh, uh, um, a lot of people are going to separate you from their company. You know, you're, you're, you're not really going to fit in the world. You're going to feel, you know, a lot of the time you're going to spend alone, you know, being a prophet of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Because what you'll find is that outside of the Akim, the understand the truth, all right, no one else really can relate to you. No one else really... You know understands the things that you go through and why you're so willing to go through them like you know people in the world might not understand why you're willing to suffer for the names of your but that's because we know that 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 you know the things that we do see are are, are you know are temporal man but the things that we don't see the kingdom of heaven immortality rulership over the other nations right those things are permanent man but, but you see, we, you know, basically what's happened is the Heavenly Father, which I say, Yahweh Ba'ashim has, um has given us the eyes of to see. So we're able to see things that your average Joe can't see, which is why for us, it's pretty easy to just say, you know, to give up our lives for this ministry's sake. But from the outside looking in, it's the most craziest thing to do, okay? So this is um, uh, Let me let me. This is Matthew 5 right I'll, I'll start verse 3 Alright yeah, That's spiritual man You know you got that Justin Timberlake song What goes around Comes around Comes around It's playing in, in the car next to me man You know Because you know All that slander and Hey, the scriptures say Every idle word that men shall speak They shall give account thereof In the day of judgment, man So what goes around Truly does come around, man You, you thought you could give all that big talk You know, you could talk all that shit, right? Well, guess what, man Every idle word you spoke All the slander, all the disses You, you, you made against the prophets, right? You, you're going to have to give account thereof In the day of judgment, man You know, the scriptures say how The most high require of that Which is past, man Somewhere in the book of Ecclesiastes You know so this is Matthew 5 and 3 It says blessed are the poor in spirit For theirs is the kingdom of heaven man And, and, and you know the, the, the potential elect members right they're, they're in very poor spirits Right Not because Of uh, You know uh, Well to be honest The scriptures say in much wisdom Increase of sorrow man Because the more you understand the scriptures The more you understand the precepts you know, in order I get and get understanding, you you realize that this is a bullshit setup that Esau Edom has um, dominated you, 
and 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 you know what does it say in Ecclesiastes, man? It says, "I've seen servants upon horses." You know, and the rich sit in low place, all right? Because who were the servants, man? E the Edomites, all right? The other nations beginning with the Edomites because the Edomites are the are the basest of men, all right? They're out of all the other nations, right? The Edomites are, are are you know bottom of the totem pole, all right? But they're the ones that have got rulership over us. And then it says, but the rich sit in low place, man. Who are the rich? The Israelites, man. You read the book of Revelation two and nine. It says. Uh, and I have heard of the poverty of thy people, but thou art rich. It says that in brackets, but thou art rich. Because when you read Romans 11 and 33, it talks about the, you know, oh, the depth of the riches of wisdom, knowledge and understanding. All right. So, so to have the true understanding of the scriptures, the, you know, that's the true riches, man. Okay. So really, we ain't poor, man. You know, we're, we're, we're blessed. We're immensely blessed to be able to. To uh, break down the scriptures the right way, man. To have the true understanding of the scriptures, man. Not everyone can make that boast, and even in that, we don't boast, man. Because you know, the scriptures say, "Much is given, much is required." Okay, and the same way the Most High gave it unto us is the same way He can remove it from us, man. That's why we have to pray Psalm fifty-one: "Take not that Holy Spirit away from me, man. Take not." Your Holy Spirit away from us, your Racha Kodash, man. Because we, we know and understand, or we should know and understand that without the Racha Kodash, we won't be able to break down the precepts the right way, have the true understanding of what the scriptures are saying unto us, man. So, you know, we always have to remain in that humble spirit. You know, the scriptures say how the, the Most High is near a, a humble. Uh, 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 he's near the broken hearted And the contrite spirit man So Yahweh Shumi Ashaya Pretty much has to keep us In that state of mourning Because then We appreciate The wisdom, knowledge and understanding more You know uh, uh, um, what, is, what did the scripture say man The scriptures say how um, You know um, How mourning Oh man How does that I haven't brought that in a while man um, it's in Ecclesiastes 7 I believe The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning Yeah that's it man So the heart of the wise are in the house of mourning man So pretty much You know The elect Go through the ringer man For lack of better words like the, if, you're, if the most high is dealing with you He's going to you know, put that fire on you man You know read Hebrews 12 Where it speaks about how We shouldn't despise The chastening of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Okay It says Blessed are they Matthew 5 and 4 Blessed are they that mourn For they shall be comforted And really The elect are mourning man The elect are the ones That are crying out to the Lord You know uh, The elect spirits Down here on earth And the elect spirits There in the spirit world man Crying out unto the Lord say, Lord saying um, uh, You know How long man You know how, how, how long shall This endure Okay You know when you read Second Ezra um, chapter 6 Which we might get that Lord willing man You know The heathens ruling over us Okay Even though we've come to the realisation that, that we're above the heathens How long shall this endure man Okay It says in Matthew 5 and 5 Blessed are the meek For they shall inherit the earth man See the meek are going to inherit the earth and, and you know The scriptures say Fear not thou worm Jacob man as they're 41 You know we're likened unto a small worm Alright and we're, we're indeed the meek Because we don't have any uh, We don't have any power in our hands You know we don't have the authority to, to To raise up an army And try to bring down Esau Edom Which if we tried to do that anyway We'd fail man You know the scriptures say In Zephaniah 3 and 8 Therefore wait ye upon me Until I rise up to the prey so Yahweh Hashem Shai is going to have to be the one to rise up to the prey, man. Not us, okay? We're not going to we're not going to deliver ourselves, man. It's through, you know, what's Yahweh Shai's name? He deliverer, all right? Yahweh Shai is the deliverer, man. Yahweh Shai is the one, you know. When you read Deuteronomy twenty-eight, I think it was verse sixty-eight. It says how we're going to be sold again into Egypt, which Egypt is the house of bondage. 
which is the modern day house of bondage is America and the influence is spread throughout the four corners of the earth. He said that ye shall go into the house of Egypt again with ships. All right, that's how, you know, would you have it? Uh, Transatlantic slave trade. All right, that's what that's all about. Okay, and then, and then it goes on to say how, and no man shall buy you. The, the word buy meaning redeem. No man shall redeem you, man. Okay, but, but Yahweh Shai is going to be the one to redeem us. That's why again Zephaniah 3 and 8 says, Therefore wait ye upon me until the day that I rise up to the prey. So we're not meant to be, you know, trying to tackle Esau, Edom via carnal means, man, because you're going to lose every time, man. You know, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Job 9 and 24. All right, so the person who handed the earth over to them, which would be the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, okay, Ba'ashim Shai, which means in the name of Yahweh Shai, would have to be the same person to to uh, deliver the kingdom of heaven into our hands okay which is why we can't just create a a, a, a a whatsapp group chat oh yeah and just get all the israelites to come together and, and we fight against against our enemies man no man the the, 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 the fight is the lord's uh, he already he already told us man so so it's about just suffering patiently and knowing that you know ultimately we're under punishment man you know, the prophets ain't exempt from punishment. If anything, the prophets are being straightened out now so that when that time of threshing comes, the time of judgment comes upon the whole earth, we would have pretty much already been judged for our sins. You know, that's why Micah 7 and 9 says, uh, For I will bear the indignation of the Lord, for I have sinned against him, man. So so all the, 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 the suffering that we go through and the tribulation, the hell, all right, is because of either something we've done in our present life or, or something we've done in our past lives man you know and, and 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 you know we're being corrected in measurement meaning that the lord ain't punishing us fully to the extent that we should be punished but he's punishing us enough for us to remain humble and be in that contrite spirit and know that we need yahweh you know that's that's what it's really all about man because you know uh, what's that? First Corinthians chapter eight talks about how knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifieth. One form of charity is doing this work, man. Doing the videos, doing the sit downs, going out on the highways and the byways. That is a form of charity, man. And the book of James talks about how charity covers a multitude of sins. All right. So by us doing this work, presenting our bodies a living sacrifice, as it's written in Romans twelve and one, we are covering a uh, a multitude of sins man that's why it's needful for us to be diligent in the ministry man you know what did apostle paul say in first corinthians 15 and 58 he said always abounding in the work of the lord man uh what we're, we're always meant to be abounding in this truth okay so it says um matthew 5 and 6 it says blessed are they it says, blessed are they which hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Yeah, man, so the, the, the most high is not dealing with that. Oh, I, I, I'll just do it when I get to it, spirit, man. You know, the, the most high wants us on fire, man. You know, what, what, you know read Revelation 3 and, and, and verse 15, man, where it talks about, because thou art lukewarm, man, neither hot nor cold, therefore I will spew thee out of thy mouth. Uh, and we, we don't, the words we don't want to hear from you, how about from your shy, you know, get away from me, I knew you not, you know. Oh, but we prophesied and we casted out devils in your name, and, and he's telling you, I knew you not, man. Hey, man, Hebrews 10 and 31, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. Okay, so, you know, it's, it's about putting our best foot forward, man, and knowing that, you know, we're not here because we're, we're just some. Um, Amazing, spectacular individuals, man. You know, really, it's, it's it's just by the Most High's grace that He's chosen us to 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 be vessels to teach this word, man. As the scriptures say in Second Ezra eight, it says, "For many are called, but few are chosen, man." So you know, it's about it's not about being called, but rather it's about being chosen. All right, and there was a scripture that came to mind. And um, it's kind of escaped me, man. So like, yeah. uh, you know, I'm in this flesh, man. Um, damn. 
what was that scripture I wanted? Uh, you know, I roughly paraphrased three seconds and just ate. It weren't that one. You know, many are called few are chosen. There's another scripture I wanted to go to, you know. But, um... Damn. Yeah, man, being a prophet, man. You know, it's, it's not It's not going to be a... Uh, it's not, oh, that's what I wanted to worry about, Shimei Hashai. John 15. All right, just to make it clear, man. This is John 15. And verse 16 says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. So all this, oh yeah, you know, that Christian spirit talking about I gave my life to Christ. No, no, no. The, you, you don't choose Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai chooses you, you know. At whatever point in time you're meant to wake up, you wake up and, and, and you know, things will be revealed, man. That you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Right. And and what's one of the main things we're asking for? Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. In all that I get in, get understanding. Alright? These things I command you that ye love one another. And that's another point, man. You love one another, man. Pray for your brothers, man. Don't just pray for yourselves. Pray for the elect. You know, because the same way you're going through it, man. Same way your brother... You know, the Arkham and even the, the, the few sincere Arkwaf, man, they'd be going through it as well. So pray for one another, man. Pray without ceasing forevermore. All right? It says, if the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. All right? When Yahweh Shai came into the world, the world hated Yahweh Shai. So if you're coming in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, why do you expect different results? It's going to be the same thing. All right? It says, if the world hate you, if you of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world... But because uh, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. And that's just what it is, man. And you have to know and understand that that's what's going on, man. They hate you because really... Hey, the scriptures say... Um, what do the scriptures say, man? They hate thee that rebuketh in the gate, man. Okay? That's, that's just what it is. They hate thee that rebuketh in the gate. All right? And we're the ones that are doing the rebuking in the gate. I believe that's what Amos 5... I'm 15, if I'm not mistaken. So if you're coming in the spirit of Yahweh Hashim Yahshai, you're going to be hated, man. All right. So the, being a prophet is not no glamorous job. All right. And I just land back enough Elder Apostle Gabar's video. All right. So I pray, Lord willing, this lesson's been edifying. And until next time, I say shalom.